first thing that you need is a battery connected to a solar charge controller. Um, what we have here is the Yeti 1400. It already has all of that built into it and includes all of these convenient uh, input and output ports. However, this is a very expensive unit that retails for $1,800 and it would be a lot easier for you to get the same amount of power if you got the batteries and the solar charge controllers separately and built it yourself. However, since we have this, this is a very simple plug and play system. So the next thing that you need is this cable, which we got directly from Goal Zero, the company that makes the Yeti. And all this cable is, is an Anderson port on one side that you'll plug directly into this input on the Yeti. And on the other side are two MC4 connectors, one male and one female. MC4 connectors are the standard uh, solar connectors. Now, if we were only using a single solar panel, we would plug these two MC4s directly into the matching connectors on our solar panel and then we would plug the other end into the Yeti and we would be done. It's a very simple plug and play system. However, since we are going to be mounting these solar panels onto the roof of our camper, we have these two cords. These are just simple 10 foot extension cords for MC4s. And all that's going to do is extend this cord all the way up to the roof of our camper where it'll then connect to the solar panels. Finally, since we're using two solar panels, uh, in order to limit the amount of input into the uh, charge controller, we are going to be wiring our solar panels in a parallel instead of a series. And in order to do that, we have these two cords which came in a set. You can buy them very cheaply on Amazon. And all it has is a male linked to two female MC4s and then two males linked to a single female. Here we have the two 100 watt um, solar panels that we got from Renogy. Uh, Renogy is just widely considered a very like cost effective and very reliable solar panel. These are generally going to be the ones that Goal Zero recommends to you. Uh, if you don't buy, if you decide to buy third party solar panels. And that's it. So, as a quick summary, in order to get these panels to the roof of our camper, we have the battery and the charge controller and the Anderson port, which will plug directly into the Yeti. The other end of the Anderson port will plug into these extension cords which will then plug in to these cables, which wire the panels into a parallel, which then will connect directly to our solar panels. So as far as the mounting option goes, you just have very simple crossbars. As you can see, it has these like convenient little holes that are shaped all willy-nilly, just in case not everything fits in there for you. All we're gonna do is mount the solar panels onto these crossbars and then take the entire thing, put it on top of our roof racks, and screw them in. So let's get started.
Okay. Slippery. All right. Well, we finally have all of the solar panels and their paraphernalia and their cords and their everything all hooked up. Very cool. So, let's check it out and then go into the warmth. Okay. Yep. So here you can see we have the solar panels mounted to this crossbar attached to the roof with these knobs that so that we can take it off and position them if we're ever in the shade. Underneath this whole mess of wires is us linking them in parallel. Uh, the 10 foot cord was actually just barely too short, which is why everything is scrunched together. And then we have it running through here, down through this wire holder. So right now you can see that we have an input of zero watts. When I plug in the solar, when I plug in this cord, everything should change. Click. Hmm. So that's it? Yeah. Huh. Hey everyone, woke up this morning and was happy to see that it's working! Woo! Right now, we are pulling in 105 watts. Which is actually pretty dope. <laughs> Considering we're parked under a pretty big tree.